watch you guys. Today we're taking a look at how to set up Microsoft Outlook on your Android phone. So if you've got an Android phone and you've got an Outlook account and you want to have email sent to your phone, then this is how you're going to set it up. Go to the Google Play Store and what you're going to do is do a search here for Outlook. So just type out Outlook here and do a search and there'll be an application which you can download. So let's go ahead and do a search for that. There you go, Microsoft Outlook. I'm going to go ahead and install this onto our phone. Now you're going to need to know your email address you want to use, and also you're going to need to know the password for that account and all of the uh, details so you can get it set up on here. So you can see, welcome to Outlook. So we need to add an account here. Now we've already probably got our account set up on our PC, so you can see you can either set up a Google account and I'm going to type in here my email account because I don't want a Google account. I want my uh, account that I've already got on my PC and I want to set it up on my phone. So let me go ahead and type out my email that I want to use here. And uh, every carrier is going to have different details that you're going to have to use to get the emails to come down into uh, your phone. Just like you would set it up on your PC, it's going to be exactly the same on your phone and you'll need all your password and details. So we'll type the rest of this out and then we can move on to the next step where it's going to ask us what uh, type of email we want to set up. So just going to do .co.uk here and click the continue button here. So push continue and you'll see a little pop up at the bottom saying pop free or IMAP. I'm going to be setting up the IMAP here. And what I'm going to do here is I need to put the email password in here so I can receive emails. So you need to make sure that you know what that is. So let me just type out uh, my password here. And uh, of course, I'll keep that covered. And we do have some advanced settings, which we're going to need to look at in a second. So I've got my email password put out here. And what we need to do is put a display name that we want to have displayed. So I'm just going to call this Brian. You can call yours whatever you want. And once that's done, we need to give it a description. I'm going to call this work because it's my work email. So let me just put this in here. There we go. And now you need to go into your advanced settings. Now inside the advanced settings on this little toggle here, mine's already set up. It's pulled this information over, but you can see here, you're going to need to make sure the IMAP incoming email server, you can get this information off your uh, carry you can see here port 993 is what i'm using ssl forward slash tls also you can see the imap email we're going to need to put the imap password in again just to make sure that's set up correctly there we've also got smtp outgoing email server that also needs to be put in correctly for your email address and it's 465 for my one and also ssl forward slash tls so whatever yours is needs to be put into those boxes there. Once you've got all of the passwords in here, make sure all the passwords are in and all that information is correct. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to receive and send emails. So once that's done, we can move on to the next bit here. You should see a little tick up the top. Once that's uh, illuminated, we'll be able to continue here. But at the moment, it still needs that SMTP password. So for the outgoing uh, email. So let me go ahead and put that in there. So I'm just going to quickly copy and paste that into there so we can move on to the next step. So I'll get this copied over. So I've got this copied now. And now you can see the tick up the very top is uh, showing so we can tick it. So let's go ahead and check our details. Everything seems okay. Now you can get this information from the website who hosts your email address. It will tell you all the information so you can put that into your account. That is now done. It's asking us to set up another account if we want. I'm going to say no, and I don't want to save this information for Google. And I can always say maybe later. So let me push this and you should now see your email all populated here. I've blurred mine out, but under here will be all of my emails that I'm receiving on my account. So you can see there's tons of them here. And that just means I can receive emails while I'm at work or while I'm at home or while I'm on holiday or on business calls. I can always see my emails that are coming in and I can respond to these uh, by just literally clicking on them and replying to them. Also, you'll see there is the full features that you would get on your email client on your PC. If you click on the top here, it gives you all of the folders 
and it basically gives you all of the information here like sent deleted drafts and uh, all of the other stuff junk and things like that so you can see here i've got some other ones in here for like bad emails that i've been getting and i just put them with rules into uh, the, those appropriate folders for instance like rude emails that i'm getting will go into those folders there and that's pretty much it you can set yours up how you like that should be set up as it is on your pc and it will just mirror those uh, settings on your phone so anyway hope this has been some sort of use to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members i appreciate the support and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now